Hi, I'm Ken with Flame Tech, and in this short video I'd like to show you how simple it is to connect the IF-20 model remote control to your fireplace. This remote control comes with a transmitter, so you can press a single button to turn the unit on and off, but through the app you can connect to your smartphone or an iPad and actually have thermostat control of the unit as well. But for now let's go through unboxing the unit and showing you how simple it is to install. Let me break the seal. And when we open up the box inside, we will find the receiver with the attached wire to connect to the unit. Batteries are included. A wrist sta strap for the transmitter. And then you also get a white wall plate and you get a black wall plate should you decide to install it. Maybe under the fireplace where black is a more appropriate color. Instructions and the transmitter itself. So complete package. Let's go ahead and put batteries in the unit and connect it to the fireplace. So the battery case simply slides open and it uses standard AA batteries. So like in most devices, one goes one way, one goes the other. Pretty simple to tell. The little pictures inside show the orientation of the batteries. And, oops. We do suggest that you use a good quality new alkaline battery when you install it. And you're going to get a season's lifespan out of those batteries. You should change them once a year. That simple. Now, if you notice, when I flip the switch back and forth, you can see the light illuminate. So you know that it's working. The transmitter itself, unlike some of the competition, uses standard batteries as well. Some of the others use a battery that's kind of hard to find. You've got to go to a... Uh, Photoshop or an electronic store in order to get them, but here you can see we're using standard AAA batteries. Case simply snaps back on, press the button just to confirm that the batteries are working, so we know we're good to go. Now let's connect it up to the fireplace. Most valves you'll see out there have three terminals that come to operate the unit. They're marked TH, TP and TPTH. Typically the ter terminals we're going to use are on the outside and those are going to be marked TH. And your wiring you'll notice comes with what we call a piggyback clip so it has both a male and female connector. If you're connecting it to a switch and you already had female connectors obviously it'd slide onto here. If we're slipping it onto the valve we just use the female connector and slide on just like that. Now these terminals and this unit, they're not polarity sensitive. So it doesn't matter which wire goes to which piece. So here on our unit, let's just undo the wires. And we'll connect them up to the two, again, TH terminals by simply sliding them on. And then set the unit back down. And you'll see on the front of the switch, there is an on, an off, and a remote. So when I flip this to on, my fire comes on. Off, of course off. So now let's go back to the remote position. And to finish pairing this unit, you want to press this button rapidly three times. And then that pairs your unit so that when you again press the button, it turns the unit on. That completes installation of the unit. The only thing left is if you do want to use it on a wall, the little wall plate here clips onto the front. You pop that switch, put the white switch back in its place, and then the cover plate goes on as such. That's the end of the installing the unit.